What's up, everybody? Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Crawl Talk Run. It's a little bit warmer out, like, um, you know, above. Oh, that's a great start. Round two. So, <laughs> it's a little bit warmer. I figured I'd uh, try and work on these uh, clips of the, dang it, <laughs> of the new suspension setup, and it's just not working out. Round three, or is it four now? I can't remember. <laughs> so we're gonna do a little cliffhanger action. Um, it's a little warmer out, so I wanted to work on my practice with this. You can see it does not wanna come down. Come on. Um, with this kinetic double barrel. So bear with me as it still is winter time. It still is cold. It's just a matter of the tires are actually warmer. Normally that rear end would be sky high. Clearly not this time around. Oh, nope, not gonna happen. Took it too narrow, I think. So we'll just start back here. <laughs> yep. Oh, you know, just having a rough day of RC life here after work. Oh man, the front end is so heavy. You can see this, I've noticed I've got a, like a sticking problem. This barrel in particular, uh, it just, for some reason, that one wants to stick all the time. See, like that's how it should be, but it could just be scuffed. Maybe I'll just take some like, I don't know, emery cloth to it or something. I have no idea. We'll figure it out. But like, it's still pretty stinking capable, man. Try and just pull the front end. Nope. Nope. Is it going to pull it? Mm. This is a, not a driver's day today, huh? There we go. Up and over. Full slack on that front end. You can see this nasty angle it's gonna go into. That Emax on there looking good. The rear end looking good. And some more slackage here. You can see it's only gonna be about as wide as the truck down there. As for my uh, course setup here, this is just a Fieldstone retaining wall that our house had when we bought it and I haven't done anything to it except for add like that little rock right there but other than that it's pretty much how it came when we bought the house just for viewing pleasure this is a negative slope or like a downturn uh, downhill just enough to make it slippery on the tires here especially now that they're wet and cold my other problem is this diff if you look it's actually kind of dragging on the rock like if I go slow the rear end just sinks and then you can't get over that, so you have to back it up just enough and bump it. And so the, what the bump does is uh, just forces it over, as you know. So I'll do it again, and I'll do it like this. This is something I'm trying to teach my son. So dragging the, uh, the differential on there, on the rock, I'm gonna go nice and slow so you can see that it's gonna probably just be too slick. 
tires are spinning. Um, now I'm gonna get just enough traction on the rear end here. Uh, never mind. And you really don't, I don't even have to go that far, but I'm gonna just bump it, see? So you just force it up and over that little slope where normally it just wouldn't go. Especially at like a crawl speed. Ooh, this is gonna be some good slack. Look at that front end though. So I'm really, overall I'm happy with, with this suspension and I'm sure you get your money's worth from it. Especially for, you know, like, what did I pay, 36 bucks shipped. So, that was almost like a drag brake. So is it worth it? Yeah, I'd say it's worth 30 bucks. Um, am I happy with it? In the cold? Absolutely. Because it's allowing my suspension to, to do the work. Um, wow, I should probably follow my truck. It's allowing the suspension to do the work of finding the lowest possible grip point and keeping the truck centered weight-wise in the gra center of gravity, rather, um, low enough to... This isn't going to happen in the cold. But it's keeping everything low enough and grippy enough on the rock, like tires on rock. That's what I'm getting at. And this part is not going to happen just because the snow is here. Now, if the snow wasn't here, it could probably just weasel its way up, which is very easy. And you could probably find a video on my channel um, where it does so. So we'll try cleaning out some snow and we'll give it a shot. Now it's like a slick ice. So, <laughs> but yeah, overall happy, worth it by all means. It's a small company, so you're not going to hurt anybody by going to a small company, right? So give them, give Kinetic a look on eBay. If you type in Kinetic um, SCX24, it'll come right up and you'll have the best time. They also have some beadlock wheels and some axle, uh, wide, like a spacer, a wheel spacer. So you'll have like a wider track and base. I don't think this is gonna happen. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying the content. The su subscribers keep coming and it keeps blowing my mind, dude. So <laughs> keep it up, man. Send the love. I, I really appreciate it. Sincerely. It's, I can't, I don't expect subscriptions or comments or likes. I, don't, I hate even like marketing them, but it's, it just continues to happen. So I'm so thankful and I, I don't know how to say thank you enough. So that's why at 100 subs, we're gonna do a, a, a giveaway. I don't, I don't wanna give anything away, but it's gonna probably be a, a gift card. And um, I don't know how the whole giveaway process works because I'm not like a big YouTube channel, but we'll figure it out and we'll make it happen. So at 100 subs, if you guys keep sending the love, I'll send some love back out. Um, and we'll, just make it one giant love triangle, I guess. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Anyway, all the love from New England. And uh, peace.